So here we're comparing fractions, but it's easier to compare fractions if the denominators are the same, and we have different denominators here. But we can use what we know about equivalent fractions to compare fractions. Now 9 is in the 3 times table, so we can find an equivalent fraction to 1 third with a denominator of 9. We can use multiplication to find equivalent fractions, and 3 times 3 is 9. And what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well. 1 times 3 is 3, so 1 third is larger than 2 ninths, because 1 third is equivalent to 3 ninths. Now we have 13 over 21 and 5 sevenths. 21 is in the 7 times table, so we can find a fraction equivalent to 5 sevenths, which has a denominator of 21. 7 times 3 is 21, and what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 5 times 3 is 15. So, because 5 sevenths is equivalent to 15 over 21, we know that 5 sevenths must be larger than 13 over 21, because 13 is less than 15. Now we have 5 eighths and 17 over 24. 24 is in the 8 times table, so we find a fraction equivalent to 5 eighths with a denominator of 24. We use multiplication or division to find equivalent fractions, and 8 times 3 is 24. So what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 5 times 3 is 15. That's less than 17, so 5 eighths is less than 17 over 24. Now to avoid confusion, Notice that we multiplied by 3, multiplied the denominator and the numerator by 3 to find our equivalent fractions here, but we don't always multiply by 3 to find equivalent fractions. The reason we did here is that 9 is 3 times 3, 21 is 7 times 3, and 24 is 8 times 3. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.